Hello, Mark Crossford here. Welcome to the Golf Swing Weekly Fix. I'm here in Mauritius at the MCB Tour Champs, the Seniors Tour Championship. I posted an interesting picture earlier in the week of Paul Broadhurst's strike with his driver very much out of the hill. We've got some great high-speed footage which we're going to share with you now. Let's see what we can learn from Paul Broadhurst's Golf Swing, Senior Open Champion. Let's get stuck in. So Paul Broadhurst's swing, we followed him for a few holes, he's got a fantastic um, golf swing, he's able to really control the ball, uh, hits it still a pretty good distance as well um, for a senior tour player, um, and he's got a kind of this almost pin-seeking ability when he gets going, I mean he's famous for when he gets on a, on a low one, Paul can go very, very low. Now what was interesting when we followed him round, it was noticeable as soon as we got on a tee where we saw his driver, you could see the wear mark was considerably in the heel and when I posted this on social media everyone was saying oh does he cut it does he fade it and I was thinking well no he actually draws the ball quite a lot um, so we well, gotta be careful with gear effect your understandings of gear effect so hitting the ball out the heel if it's unintentional can often get the ball gearing in a certain direction but if you're someone like Paul finds that spot consistently, you can see from his wear mark, and maybe with his higher handle, possibly a little bit as well, delivery obviously feels very centre. It sounds very centre when he hits it there as well. Um, he actually doesn't get the gearing happening. I mean, I've done some interesting tests where, I, uh, tests where I've tried to make a ball gear on purpose, and I find it very hard to do. If I know I'm going to hit the ball out the heel, the ball doesn't do what it should do when it hits the heel. It actually kind of almost like my face the path numbers almost override it it's interesting so look if we look at Paul's swing here what I found most interesting with Paul's swing a few things um, if he's trying to draw this ball so I'm just going to draw some lines on here let's draw this is a ball to target line to start us off let's just make it three-dimensional here and get it lining up with his target so he was trying to start this ball here and draw it in. So that's his target line, pretty much flat on the floor in this software, if you like. Now, he was quite lazy with his feet. Paul just tended to put his feet on the ground. He didn't really use them uh, to assist with his aim much, I was noticing. So they didn't really change if he was hitting a bigger draw or not. Um, they kind of just dumped them slightly pointing at the left every time. It was quite interesting. So there's pretty much his feet line. Right, let's just tidy that line up. Just about there. I'd say. Uh, so that's his feet line. So you can see it's aiming much more up the left than where his intended start line or his intended finish line was. Because this ball's going to draw as well. So it's actually going to start right of the second line here on the ground. So this line. Now, if we take Paul back into his back swing, what's interesting from the camera angle I'm shooting at, it looks like he takes it what people would call too far from the inside but again if we draw one of these three dimensional lines you're going to notice um, if we put it pretty flat line it up with a club which is going to be about here okay about there's good um, you're going to see that the two lines the club line and his feet line aren't that far off from being almost identical so again, just that slight angle I'm shooting at is making people probably feel like he's whipping that way inside, um, which I see there was something recently I saw on the Golf Channel, for instance, which was talking about Lydia Coaster, which has got this completely wrong, um, which does always frighten me a little bit. Okay, if we carry on up into his backswing, I'm just going to set another line here on Paul's kind of set angle with the club. Because you're going to notice something pretty interesting as he starts down. So that's how he sets the club on the way back. So up to the top of his backswing, he gets very tight to his right shoulder. So he hasn't particularly got his hands very high. He's kind of quite tucked in. Uh, very neat position. Uh, but you'll see the hands move out and the club really shallowing on the way down. Uh, so the club coming now at a different angle and you see the hands have actually moved out from where they went back. So they've come out which allows that club to drop back behind him. He's moving the centre of gravity of that club. So don't think the centre of gravity of the head, the centre of gravity of the whole club. So including the shaft as well. Under his hand plane because he wants to throw that club out to that ball. Now if we come in to hit this one, this is the interesting part, everyone thought he was um, we've kind of missing a frame between these two almost, the line up that shaft almost on the way down to the way back which is interesting. Um, 
everyone thinks he's fading it from that heel strike that he hits but you can see here he's hitting very much from the inside if I was to guess because we've not measured Paul I reckon with this shot he's five or six from the inside with the shape shot he's hitting now this ball didn't draw so here's a really interesting one which is going to get a lot of questions going so let's get rid of some of these lines and just leave this one on the floor when he hits this ball this ball starts right of the line now you've got to remember that line's on the ground so if we bring that back so those for those lines to be on top of each other if you like which is what people would want to see say a, a straighter starting line it would actually be in three dimensional world about there um, so that ball is starting slightly to the right now if you look at the video if you look closely here is strike now when I stood on this tee and he hit this shot I thought he towed it it sounded like it came out of the toe but what actually happens I think he hits it out in the middle but you've got to remember for him that's going to feel like the toe because he feels like that centre part of that club is the middle for him and I would argue maybe with this slightly high handle delivery that he gets um, also with where the weight is on his club all pushed in towards that heel probably find that that centre of gravity is slightly towards that heel side a little bit um, which is making him feel like a centred strike is going to go more out to the right and not draw back which it did so it didn't get the natural gearing of the toe strike because it's not actually way out the toe um, it's actually at the I would say the geometric centre but it is just slightly right of maybe his centre of gravity of that club um, interesting swing from Paul some really interesting movements I think some great points there on how 2D to 3D can really confuse you I think as well with strike the thing that you'll notice with Paul's picture is how consistent that strike is that's the key to take away from what Paul does we asked him I stopped him and said Paul can I take a picture of your club he was like yeah sure and he knew what I was talking about I, he said yeah it's always out the heel he said I, I, it's just always been there I don't know why it's there but that's where he gets his best results from and that's what it's about this is a result driven game so many people out there I see trying to hit these perfect positions Paul's a great example of someone who is not hitting the geometric centre, nowhere near it in fact, quite a long way in the hill, getting great results and also leading going into the final day here in Mauritius. Post comments down below, I'd love to hear what you think about this one, um, speak to you all soon and I hope that helps. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.